You can have the perfect PC, the best CPU and GPU combo, with enough RAM, storage, with a perfect CPU cooler and the ideal case. But if you get this component wrong, the power supply, you could literally kill your PC. But don't worry, that's why I made this video. I will teach you how to find the right power supply for you and on top of that I will give you specific power supply recommendations for different budgets. The link to the best power supplies that I will mention today will be down below in the video description as well with my personal PC help in case you want me to help you find the perfect complete PC for you. My name is Valentino and if you find valuable information throughout this video, leave a like and subscribe is going to help the channel a lot. That being said, let's start. First, let me explain this important component for you to understand. A power supply is like a computer's battery charger. It takes electricity from the wall and changes it to the right kind of power for your computer. So if you want to get the right power supply first, you need to know how much wattage do you need for your specific build. And this is quite easy to find out actually. You only need to search your graphics card plus power supply requirements on Google. For example, RTX 4080 Super power supply requirements and you will see the specific number that you need for the RTX 4080 Super. Now if you want you can add another extra 100 watts in case you want more safety or you want more room for future upgrades but that's how you find the ideal wattage for your power supply. Another way of doing this is by putting your entire PC in the PC power picker website and then in the top right you can see that it says estimated wattage then you multiply that number by 1.5 and that's going to be your ideal wattage if you want some room for improvement or if you want safety. Keep in mind that this is not always accurate, meaning that you can get away with 50 to 100 watts less than the results that you get after multiplying this number by 1.5. The next step is finding out if the power supply is actually good for your PC or not. Because let me tell you something, just because it says 80 plus gold doesn't mean that it's good quality. 80 plus ratings is just a measure of the power supply's energy efficiency. And the difference between 80 plus bronze, 80 plus gold and the highest end 80 plus titanium is actually not big, especially for budget builds. Of course, if you have an RTX 4090, I still recommend you getting at least 80 plus gold, but not because this means that it's better quality, it's only because the highest end power supplies in the market happen to be 80 plus gold. Now keep in mind that you can get an expensive power supply that's 80 plus gold with a lot of wattage and this power supply might be trash in terms of quality and it can still hurt your computer. So 80 plus rating does not matter when we talk about the quality of one specific power supply. So how do you find the best power supply and how do you find the best quality power supply for your specific build? Well, I recommend you going to the PSU Cultist List website and basically this website was made by intelligent people who tested these power supplies and they have way more knowledge than any of us. Recommend you go into that website, then you press Ctrl F and once you press those keys, you search for the power supply that you are looking to buy. Here you will have different tiers and I would recommend you getting at least a C tier ready power supply. And if you have an RTX 4070 or RX 7800 XT graphics card level of performance, I recommend you getting at least a V tier ready power supply Supply, ideally A tier, especially considering that the price difference between V tier rated power supplies and A tier rated ones is actually non-existent when I'm recording this video. When you are shopping for a power supply, you will notice that some of them are fully modular, others semi-modular and some of them non-modular. Well, let me explain. Fully modular means that you can replace the power supply cables, which is ideal if you care about aesthetics and you want a different type of aesthetics. Now, semi-modular means that you can change some of the cables, but not all of them, and non-modular means that you cannot change any cable. For budget builds, non-modular power supplies are completely fine, unless, once again, you want to prioritize aesthetics, but as you go up in price, most power supplies are going to be fully modular anyway. So now, let's go through the best power supplies in 2024 for every budget. Remember that the price of these power supplies might be different when you are watching this one. I highly recommend you checking the latest prices and availability from the links down in the description. You will also 
also find alternative and bonus power supplies there that I will talk about in a second. Anyway, for budget builds, I recommend you getting the Apifia Prestige 600 watt 80 plus gold power supply. This one is C tier rated and it's going to be completely fine for budget builds. I love the price for this one, it's $50. It is, in my opinion, the best price to performance power supply on the budget level. And then if you need more wattage, then in that case, I recommend you getting the MSI Mag 650 watt 80 plus bronze power supply. This one is CT rated as well, non-modular, but it has slightly more wattage than the Apivia Prestige one. For mid-range or upper mid-range builds, I recommend you the Be Quiet Pure Power 12M 850 watt power supply. This one is 80 plus gold, fully modular, 8 tier rated, so the best quality out there. And it has 850 watts, which is going to be way more than enough for this type of builds. In fact, you can get away with 750 watts. So if you want to save a bit of money, then I will leave 750 watt units in the description. Just keep in mind that these are not that much cheaper. For example, this big quiet power supply that's 850 watts is going for a hundred dollars. And if you want to get an 8 tier rated power supply that's 750 watts instead it's going to cost you around 90 dollars so it's only a 10 dollar difference it's not that big and i do recommend you getting an 850 watt power supply especially if the difference is this small just because you have more room for improvement in the future in case you want to upgrade some of your components i will also leave alternatives to the 850 watt power supply from be quiet in case when you are watching this video the price is way different now for high-end builds it's a bit more complicated because it really depends on the cpu and gpu combo that you have if you have for example an rtx 4080 super or rx 7900 xtx and your cpu is not an i7 or an i9 which usually require a higher amount of wattage then you are fine with an 850 watt power supply and the same be quiet unit that i mentioned before is going to be ideal for you as well but if you have an i7 or an i9 then i recommend you the same exact be quiet power supply but this time the 1000 watt version it is the same power supply it's 80 plus gold fully modular 80 rated as well the only difference is the wattage and if you have an rtx 4090 once again if you have this ryzen 7 processor which is more power efficient a thousand watt power supply is going to be just fine like the v quiet that i just mentioned but if you have an i9 i7 or if if you want more room for improvement i recommend a 1200 watt power supply in this case i recommend you the super flower lidex se this one is an 80 plus platinum power supply 1200 watts fully modular 80 rated so the best quality out there great for rtx 4090 builds especially with intel cpus and this power supply is going for around 170 dollars when i'm recording this video remember that those power supplies are mostly for gaming and some other tasks but if you want to do something that's very high demanding where you need two rtx 4090s for example you want to use blender which uses path tracing this is very high demanding and in that case i can see why you would want to spend more money and get a 1600 watt power supply and remember that bonus power supplies will be in the description so don't worry i got you covered even if you use blender or if you have to have two rtx 4090s and an i9 4900 ks which requires a lot of power and remember that in the top link in the description you will find my personal pc help and i will help you out with the perfect complete pc for you or laptop whatever you want depending on your budget and needs and i will be happy to answer any of your questions there and if you want a complete pc build i highly recommend you watching my monthly video on the best gaming pc builds for every budget and every resolution that video will be in the top right of the screen thank you guys for watching thank you for